Hello James and hello YouTube. I just woke up, but I would like to talk to you about something. I also have a bag of Take 5s. That's irrelevant, but I fucking love Take 5s, and I have a whole entire fucking bag of them. Okay James, so as you know, we decided to forego the extra month of waiting to move in together after you got done with your finals from school. And you're done with them! That's right, you got done with your finals on Friday. So, that means I'm coming over tomorrow, Sunday. That is, if I post this on Saturday. Anyway, I'm packing right now, and packing isn't fun. For me personally, packing lets me realize how little I have in this world. It lets me know how few shirts, how few pants, how few shorts, how few socks, how few pairs of underwear, how f And that's not from being like pooping them or anything, that's just generally don't wear underwear too often. Too much information here for you, YouTube, but like, underwear's kind of pointless most of the time. I mean, if you think about it, underwear is basically just like an early form, or like a late form of a diaper. So if you're good at controlling your your bowels, you really don't need a diaper, uh, uh, underwear in any way. I mean, if you're prone to shitting your pants, then I can totally see why you would need underwear. For certain genders, underwear kind of holds things in weird ways that they taren't not be held. That's right, I just used the word taren't. Uh, me, me and my friends say taren't. I don't know. Taren't is cool. Look it up. So back to the main subject packing. It lets me know that I don't have a set place in this world. That I can just leave whenever I want and it's not gonna matter to anything. And to a person like me who is making YouTube videos on two different channels, that is something that obviously you guys can tell is not something I'm okay with. I am not okay with accepting that I can just not matter at all. Like I that that's the fundamental part of being a human. People want to matter. People want to be a thing. And it's weird that moving makes me think this. It's also weird that I can create some sort of fundamental existentialist meltdown. Luckily for both you and me, James, I got my guitar back. So I'm going to play a sweet little riff on it. <laughs> Okay, so that was more than just like a little riff. I guess that was more like a melodic part. And that part, James, it's from a song I am writing at this exact moment for the band you and I will be forming. And that band's gonna be fucking sweet. You know why? Because I'm gonna be playing rhythm guitar and singing, and you're gonna be playing lead guitar and trying to overcome your fear of public performance to sing harmonies. So yeah, I don't know what this video was really gonna be about. I just kind of threw the camera up and I was like, hey shit, let's fucking do this. So I did do it. And I think that's what this move really has helped t teach me. I was so ingrained in my ways to be stuck in one mode of thinking and this has really liberated me. I totally just bumped my desk so my camera probably moved. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, it taught me that like I need to embrace change more often. Far too many times I would catch myself saying, no, that's okay, I don't want to do that, and passing on new opportunities, when really what I needed in my life was to embrace the opportunities and accept change and do new things. Anyway, I keep bumping my, my tabletop here, which is probably a sign I need to wrap it up. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions for me that you would like to see me or hear me answer or any topics for a future video you would like me to cover, leave them in the the comments box below, as well as, you know, on your way down there, make sure you give this a thumbs up, add this to your favorites, and uh, up there in that top corner there, you should subscribe. That's right, subscribe so you can be notified of all my rants and when James replies to them. Also, James, you never did your mustache thing. You're gonna be a, there's gonna be a punishment of some sort for it. I guarantee you. See you when I move in.